let's look at solving some two-part or three-part linear equations. In other words, these are equations that instead of having two sides, they actually have two inequality sides, which divide them into three sides. In other words, one, my one here in example one is one side, my x is the second side, and my three would represent the third side of the inequality. So what is it telling me? It's really saying that one is less than x, which x is less than 3, it has to meet both of those conditions to be true. Let's see if I can look at that on a number line. The endpoints I would need are 1 and 3. I always put 0 in, but you don't have to, but 0 is over here, right? So x is everything. If I read from x, I'll say x is really everything greater than 1. Well, it's greater than 1, but it is also less than 3. So it's going to be everything in between. Does it include 1 and 3? Well, we don't have any equal signs under those inequalities, so no, it doesn't. We have to use the soft brackets or the parentheses. How do we write it in set notation? Well, the same way we drew it on the number line. The smallest number it can ever be is 1, does not include 1, comma. The largest it can ever be is 3, and it does not include 3, so we use parentheses on both sides. Take a look at example 2. This one, we have not solved for x. So always start with your variable term, which is the middle term. Remember, now we're dealing with three different, I mean, uh, yeah, we're three different sides, but the middle uh, term is in the center. And we're going to have to divide by the coefficient of the variable. Well, we'll divide this by three. We have to do that to all three sides. We're sort of looking at like a triangle instead of a two-sided figure here. So we divide all three of them by three. And negative 3 divided by 3 gives me a negative 1. 3 divided by 3, 3 is this going to cancel out. Those become 1, and now I've just got plain x. And then on the side 3, or part 3, I have 6 divided by 3, which is 2. I'm ready to graph it by drawing my number line, putting down my endpoints, negative 1, positive 2. There's 0, it's in the middle. And x is everything that is greater than negative 1 or and less than neg and positive 2. It does not include either one, so I use the parentheses, soft brackets. When I write integral notation, I just copy my number line. The smallest number, negative 1. The largest, positive 2. And it does not include either one of those points. Example 3 has some more work to be done. In the center portion of our equation, of our inequality, we have to distribute. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 5 is 10. Now, everything else stays the same. We are going to isolate our variable term. Well, 2x has 10 added to it, so we're going to subtract 10. Remember, we have to do it from all three parts of it, or all three sides now. Negative 4 minus negative 10, or minus 10 is negative 14. That's less than 2x, which is less than or equal to 8 minus 10, or negative 2. I will now look back to my variable term to decide what to do next. 2 is multiplied times x. I have to divide by the coefficient. I have to do that all three sides. Cancels my 2's. In the middle, I have just x. Negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. And over on the right, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Here's my number line. I have negative 7 and negative 1. I'll place 0 over here just so I know where it is. And everything, x is everything between, is greater than negative 7. You can see how it's bigger. And it's less than or equal to negative 1. So it fills in everything in between. I don't include negative 7, but I do include negative 1. There's an equal sign there with that inequality. Now let's write the set notation. The smallest number it can be, negative 7. The largest number it can be, negative 1. And it includes negative 1. Example 4, more distribution of multiplication, negative 5 is less than or equal to 2 times x and 2 times 4. And that's less than 8. We need to isolate this variable term. We've got to get rid of an 8 that's added to it, so we'll subtract 8. We have negative 8 minus 8. Well, both of those are negatives. Add them together and keep the sign, right? 
less than or equal to 2x, which is less than 8 minus 8, or 0. Now I need to divide by the coefficient of the variable term. All three sides, I have to do the same thing. Negative 13 divided by 2, well, it's just negative 13 over 2. I'm not going to worry too much about uh, mixed numbers. It's less than or equal to x, which is less than 0 divided by 2. And that is an OK thing for me to do. The answer is 0. So I have my points. I've got my number line. The points I need are 0. And somewhere over here, negative 13 halves. I don't have to be too specific where it is. I know it's on that side of my 0. X is everything greater than or equal to negative 13 halves, and at the same time, less than 0. So I want to include negative 13 halves, and I don't want to include 0. The smallest number I can reach, negative 13 halves, and it does include it. Comma, the largest, 0, does not include. And those are my set notations and my graphing for these inequalities.